How's it going, YouTube? Dan the Plastic Man here. Hope you guys are doing well. Time for another snapshot review. Don't worry, guys. The Jesta will be coming up very shortly, probably the next video or two. So let's go ahead and take a look at our subject for today. Master Grade Wing Gundam Proto Zero. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is basically just a way to get the TV Wing Zero into the Endless Walt storyline, which tells us we have almost no chance of getting just a straight Okawara TV version Master Grade of Wing Zero, which doesn't really make my... Uh, doesn't give me much hope for some of the rest of the suits. But, anyways, let's get on to take a look at articulation on this guy. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, there is a decent amount of articulation, a lot of it for the transformation, but mine, for some odd reason, it's been a while since I've messed with this thing, the joints are unbelievably tight on mine, so I'm going to be a little ginger with this, since I've had two breaks happen in my videos. So, the shoulder and arm will rotate. They will not rotate 360 because of the wings. The arm will rotate probably 90 degrees under the shoulder, and you can hear my cat meowing. The elbow will give us, let's call that a 145, 160, something like that. The wrist will move up and down, will rotate around, and that's it for the arms, as my cat now leaves the studio. The head, we get a decent amount of up and down. We do get a full Exorcist 360, because this is purely for the transformation since the head turns upside down for Neo Bird mode. And you got a decent move on the neck and you can do a bit of the funky chicken. We'll go ahead and take a look at the cockpit since it's right here. You just slide it out. There's Hiro inside. Don't give him the self-destruct button. Onto the chest we get a decent amount of ab crunch motion. Not a lot of side to side, and then if you were to pull up and turn around, you could turn the legs around, but that is, again, for the transformation. The skirts will do a really good job of getting out of your way, and the legs can come this far forward, a very decent amount back, and okay side to side. The skirt armor here is really big and awkward. So, the knees... Because of the transformation, there's going to be some holes if you keep this guy in suit mode. But you can get a full 180 out of the leg. It's just that you've got to deal with this ugly gap right here. And that's because the bird mode leg is supposed to look like this. So, the ankle. You get a decent amount of side to side rotation. The foot, the toe will go flat, but that is for the transformation yet again. Now, on to accessories. Now, these are not handheld accessories, but Wing Zero does have two, shoulder, and two collar gatlings. I really hope that didn't just snap and break on me. Okay, we're good. I swear, these things... I'm not... I purposely am not trying to break these things, guys. But you've got two of those here. You have the sabers hidden in the shoulder handles, and the blades that come with this are green curved blades like what you get with, you know, uh, TV wing or the... It's green versions of the sabers that you get with the uh, tall geese kits. And then the other accessories are the pile driver shield, which just plugs into the forearm like so in mobile suit mode, and you can extend it. And then the Twin Buster Rifle. I love this gun. They can be split apart, but I'm going to warn you guys, for my kit, these hands are notorious for wanting to break the actual hands. Like, if you want to swap out the fingers, for mine, I've got stress marks all over the hands, so I'm not tempting fate. But, with a little bit of magic here, let's get this, get the thumb out of the way. Come on, get out of the way. Well, the hand, the fingers just popped out on their own. So, line up the tooth. Plug the fingers back 
back into the hand, and here you have Zero holding the twin Buster rifles. It can do the typical arm straight out pose, but they give us an action stand for this guy because the wings do make him a bit back heavy. So it plugs in right here. I actually like to have mine posed kind of like this, you know, toes down, arms out, wings open, and the wings themselves, well, let me turn the camera up here. The wings themselves are on a gear system, so when you open one, the others will, the other will swing open with it as well. The joints and the posing with these wings is a little awkward, but a pose kind of like this, and then take these secondary wings, bring them up, and this is pretty much the pose I like to have mine in. And the reason being is, when I look at this kit, I see a very elegant anger. This suit just has a, it has a look to it. Like I said, an elegant anger. It's just, I've never been the biggest fan of the TV version of Wing Zero, but I'm even less of a fan of the Angel Wing Zero. But when I built this, there was just something about it. Something about the lines. It's beautiful, but you know you do not mess with this thing. So give me one minute, guys. I'm going to come right back, and we'll put this guy in Neo Bird mode, okay? Give me one second. All right, guys. Let's get this thing off the stand. Now, there is an adapter that comes with the stand where you pop this piece off and you pop in a cradle piece that will just hold this Gundam by its torso, but gravity just holds it in there. So I don't really use it, and I haven't even I don't even pose mine in bird mode, but let's get it transformed and see what we get. Okay, guys? Spin the head around, open the wings, of course, straighten them out. Tip my camera back down. Shield pulled off the arm. Shield gets locked into the backpack. Why are you fighting me? Oh, the shoulders. That's why. Yeah, this is one of my gripes, guys. There's no joint to actually, well, I was just proven wrong, but it's just hideously tight on mine. So this is all supposed to fold down like this. Let me get the rifles out of the way again. There go the fingers. Plug those back into the hand. Ow. Open this. Yeah, the peg that went into the forearm, I had to pull it out and extend it. And you can see here, there's stress marks there. So this suit, at least, like I said, mine is very, very tight. So if you get this, do be careful, guys. Okay. Come on. Okay. Bring this cover down to actually tuck the head in, extend the nose, bring out those, T 
turn the waist. Come on. Lock the waist back in place. Bring the knees up. Open the legs. Tuck the feet up inside. Squeaky plastic is squeaky. And if I remember right, Apologies for not talking much, guys. I'm just trying to get all the angling right because it just likes to fight me. Okay. Now, the last piece is the rifles. Now, this is where things get a little interesting, at least for me. Come on. Son of a biscuit, come on. There we go. All right, see these two pieces that popped out here? They plug in to the bottom of the shield right underneath the V-fin, come on. Now, judging, if you use the nose, the nose cone as, you know, a flat plane, the guns are facing down, so no, that does not work for me. Plus, it also is putting, like, it looks like it's putting strain on the actual joint itself. Gravity is doing some extra damage. So what I do is slide the, can, the wing canards, the nose canards, in the handle. So... There you go, guys. This is Proto-Zero in bird mode. I will say, it looks pretty cool. I like the way it looks. I don't like, however, this. You know, you, you like to keep the chest and the waist kind of parallel, but if I hold on to the top here, gravity just does its damage and starts pulling everything down. It just really upsets me because the cradle piece holds here, right around the chest. So the legs are still dangling and putting stress on that joint. So there should have been some kind of a lock to keep this from happening. But that's enough of my rant. So if you guys liked the video, leave me a like, subscribe to me, leave me some comments. I love reading them. Let's keep this community growing, guys. And I promise the next, either the next video or the video after that will be the Master Grade Jesta. I am nearly done with it. So, I hope you guys have yourselves a good night, take care of yourselves, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.